Hello everyone, Megan's nightmares never end, of course, it's right, I can say, that making this content, has made me very excited, you know who I am, right, I have never been a fan of Megan and Harry, I am disgusted, by the shameless, evil actions they have committed, one thing I am more certain than ever, is that they are not successful now, and things are not going according to their plans, and wishes. Try to picture the difficulties that exist in the region of Montecito. Don't you think, just recently, of course, they participated in that significant interview that took place on Meghan's birthday on CBS Sunday morning. It's true that that was kind of pushed to the side, but didn't it actually happen over here in the United Kingdom? We are facing a number of different challenges, the most prominent of which are riots and the setting of religious structures on fire. Furthermore, we are already fed up with our brand new British administration, which is led by Sakia Stama. After only a month in office, do you really think that's true? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's truly getting started. Let's get back to the story of the day, which is 70 years old. Now, when you think about it right now, over in Montecito, the preparations are being made. We've been told, oh, desperation, that we're all waiting for this in the fall. That's correct, the cooking show that Meghan Markle is hosting. There is going to be a cooking show that will feature her food, and it will be taking place in somebody else's home, not her own home, of course. Perhaps you are curious as to why she did not want it in the house. Perhaps she is simply strewn with sacks of clothes, as well as toys for children all over the place. Whoever's children's toys, in any case, and the bottom line, is that you are in a complete and utter predicament. If you truly want to give the impression that you are at home, then why would you not want to record it in your own home? Are you aware of what I am being said? Additionally, it is you, and you are being quite forthright and truthful. On the other hand, this is Megan, they rented out a large property, and it seems that we are going to be physically observing how she entertains people, as well as gardening and interpersonal relationships. I find it fascinating, paying for daytime television through streaming services, I'm not really certain about that. Currently, as you may expect, Ted, the CEO of Netflix, is also very concerned about the situation. This particular piece of information, however, is going to be the one item that will really, truly upset Harry and Meghan. The reason for this is that a show that is available on Netflix has recently been won and nominated for five Emmys. That is right, coming from the British pair, that is David and Victoria Beckham, who were once friends of Meghan and Harry, of course until they had a disagreement about apparently selling items about each other or whatever. And things became very, very nasty pretty quickly. The children have stated that Harry and Meghan ghosted them when he traveled all the way to Australia. This is because they were so enamored with them. Regardless of how you assess the scenario, it is a terrible one. We aren't waiting for her cooking show. It's going to be an epic failure. Meghan has never been honest a day in her life. Congratulations to the Beckhams. Rumor in the public domain is it's already been canned, allegedly, and they couldn't get a known chef to work with her, too difficult to be around, from the look of their eyes. And wait, it just might be some kind of other thing cooking. To answer your question, yes, karma is a good thing. As the children frequently say, since David and Victoria Beckham, also known as the Beckhams, after their astounding success, on that particular show, well, guess what, this reliable source claims that they have been presented with a new huge deal that revolves around the fashion industry in Victoria, which is something that I believe would be successful in the long run. Don't you think that people enjoy the behind the scenes stuff? To put it another way, that kind of crap that makes sense to me, and I can see why it may be very effective. On the other hand, what makes this situation interesting? is that David is considering various possibilities, both jointly and independently. However, regardless of the circumstances, this is going to be a devastating blow, because the deal is a significant one. Despite the fact that they have not yet signed it, it is on the table. The Sussexes are not currently in possession of a renewal contract at this time, with everything riding on 
whether or not people would tune in for the rumored polo program, which we might or might not ever see. Or now, of course, Megan's cookery show, everything is up in the air, a great deal is dependent on that really getting hot. So if Megan and Harry's polo rescue program is aired, what would your reaction be? Do you intend to watch it? If so, comment number one. And if you don't intend to watch it, don't care, comment number two. Or, if you have a different opinion, comment below. I'm dying to know what you think. I want to know for sure whether their activities should be stopped or not. It seems Megan is only a legend in her own mind. I don't think she will ever accept how much people despise her. While personally, I think Victoria is one of the strongest designers out there. Her stuff is stylish and classic. She deserves tons of credit. So many of these design houses are damaging their brand by going after the Kardashian-type style and money. Certain people, like Victoria Beckham, always look lovely. Others always look as if they're headed for the red light district. You can look young, modern, and stylish without overexposing yourself. But honestly, what are either of them going to do to earn a living in the real world? In middle age, they don't even have the skill set to flip burgers. I wouldn't buy lemonade from that woman at a lemonade stand on a hot August day in summer. They're the only people who, right out the gate, applied for positions in which they have a big zero in experience, skills, education, or talent. Her resume, if honest, has one part-time job as a D-list actress who made enemies of the cast members, writers, director, and producer. And from that, she thinks of being a producer. She lived in a small apartment with a back alley entrance, up a typical tenant-styled alley staircase, to the second level. They only want top positions at the multi-million level, when all they have to offer is that ridiculous, useless, defunct title a country that doesn't care. The only job offers they have are to accept fake awards, most of which they so far have paid for, and which nobody remembers why they got them. The ones they don't pay for are set up by companies wanting to be noticed, like the mockery and hate they will surely bring in will stick better than any of the boring stuff the Markles are trying to sell for millions of dollars. Another case that comes to mind is that they're not in Montecito anymore, because Archie will be starting school next week there. And that means they're leaving. As their child starts his first week of school, could a parent really be that detached? Guess they actually could. Think they moved to another area though? They started school this week. Most of the areas start the first week of August, with others starting the second week, like Santa Barbara County. Arzo, did you guys notice the kitchen space? When Megan filmed the cooking show, the kitchen has no running water. Only certain rooms are furnished and covered in heavy protection cloths, removed for photos. Most photo shoots are in the gardens. The mansion was damaged in the last big mudslide in Montesicchio. The Russian owner planned to resituate most of the house differently on the property, to meet regulations now in place, because of those slides, and he fell ill and never did the major repairs, source, an actual architecture show on homes in the area, damaged by natural disasters, nothing about the duo. Clearly, when you have a work ethic, and talent, can laugh at yourself, while having fun together, can read the room, as in waiting in line to see our late queen, lying in state, all while not being a baby, about lost uniforms, while cameras were in tow. To record yourselves while meeting mourners, who are showing respect, for a beloved monarch. Work one hour a week, the list goes on. An American lady YouTuber, said that Netflix, is putting the lid, on Megan's cooking show. Allegedly, she couldn't get any of the well-known chefs to appear. She asked Martha Stewart, but she declined, and I don't think too politely. They think that just a chef on the street, is not high class enough for the show. Pretty wise these chefs nowadays. Ha <laughs> ha To be honest, if you're interested in the most unimportant woman, married to a prince of the realm, whose actions brought shame and embarrassment to Queen Elizabeth Lee, you're among the few people that tolerate privileged people complaining about the things they want and can't have. Anyway, congratulations to the Beckhams who have always worked hard 
and delivered, cannot imagine who could possibly want to watch an inauthentic woman cooking recipes from someone else's home. Talking about how she entertains, nothing about it describes her life. People will not be able to identify with her like they can with the Beckhams who love their family and show their real lives, a real home, and their true relationship. Megan screams fake and inauthentic and boring as watching paint dry. Certainly, Harry and Meghan only showed complaints. She has no great talent. Now if Harry was still a working royal, his could have been interesting. But then together, they just didn't have anything to share. Except look at me, I'm a victim. Beckhams deserved what they got. I am extremely grateful that you took the time to view my video. Am I empathizing with you and sharing your thoughts? Have a comment below, please. You can discuss this topic with a large number of other people in the comments section. In addition to myself, in particular, I am hoping that you will show a great deal of support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye, and I hope to see you again soon.